Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will see one more practical. Here, the practical question is based on the scripts in PHP. Write a PHP script for the following. Design a form to accept a string. Here, the different operations we need to perform on that script. Write a function to find the length of the given string without using the built-in function. Then, write a function to count the total number of vowels, that is A, E, I, O, U, on the given string. Convert the given string to lower case first and then to the title case. Then, pair the given string with star from left and right both the sides. Remove the leading white spaces from the given string and find the reverse of a given string. Here we need to use the built-in function. So, how to write the program for the thing? So, let's start. Before starting with this, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the new videos notification. See, your output will be look like this. String 1, here we are accepting the string. We need to select the which operation you want to perform. Here is a different choice. If you want to calculate the length, just select the length and click on submit. So you will get this type of answer. If you want to calculate the reverse of the given string, just select this radio button, click on a submit. So first this file is a string to HTML and after that it will go on the second file that is your php file see here string to php file is here and here you have you selected the operation which one operation 6 1 operation so it will and the text is sonali so see here i use the gate method so here you can see the text and the your operator operation selection so you will, you will get the answer reverse of enter string is this will be your output so let's see how to write the program for the same. So first we'll see the HTML. See in this HTML we need to create the first radio button. So HTML body, see here is a part HTML body then. See these are the operation length, count, convert, pad and all. So form action here, form action string to php.php this one is your file method we are using is a gate method string 1 here we need this string 1 so this string 1 this string 1 we need so we are accepting the input that it was to touch and name it as php1 write it carefully because we are we will going to use this text 1 in php program as a variable then which operation you want to perform? This one text is here. Which operation you want to perform? Write it here. Then use the input type the radio name is equal to operation this op and value which is to one. And here label. Label for this means label for this one. Find the length of given string. So here write label for this is find the length of given string. Okay. Then end of label. Then input type equals to radio, name equals to op and value equals to two. So in this way, first uh, here uh, select the first radio button for this first one. This value two is for the second one, that is the count, total number of vowels, end of label. Then value equals to three two. You need to use the same radio button, just you need to change the value, value one, value two, value three, and you need to specify the uh, label, this label means this text, convert the given string to the lower case or upper case, means the label for that button. Okay, value 4 is for the pad the string, value 5 is for the leaving, remaining the leaving by spaces, 6 is for the reverse this string, and after that you need to use the submit button. Okay, so after this, see, you will get the this one function, this one string. Okay, so now, how to write the code for the PHP? So see, here we'll cover the functions one by one. So first we'll uh, access this text variable from the HTML form by 
in the take method, then select the operational thing. So which operation you are selecting in that uh, form. So it will take the value of that operation here and will perform this one only. This will be stored inside the TS and this TS will be stored part as a argument. So it will match with the switch case function. So it will be the uh, if it is value is one, then it will calculate the length or two is a pound vowels and all. Okay, so here I am just first calling the function that is length function, pound V function that is pound vowel, lower case function, then pad both means at the both the side you need to add the suppose uh, uh, some character use the pad both, add in white that is removing the white spaces, case fix is a reverse. So this is a uh, this is a point to the function. Now here we are defining this. Lower case. Means if you want to convert the text into the lower case, how to convert? First, take the variable as a parameter, convert this into the lower case, store inside the D, display this lower case letter, and then if you want to convert it into the title case, use the function with the word to convert into the title case. Okay, means it will change the only the first letter of that word and then display. Then after that, pair both. Pair both means what? Here just we are using the str pad function. This is your string dollar a into your string c. You want to make this is a 20 in the length of target string. So the command string is only the 6 character or the 7 character. Then the, it will add that number of the stars at the both the sides of your string. This is str pad both. If you are writing the left or right, then it will add the only the star at the left side or at the Right side. So here we need to start at the both side. So here pad both do this argument. Then function are in white color A. So it will remove the white spaces of the given string. Okay, then function will remove the all the white spaces. After that, there is one more function is count the number of vowels. So write the function. This function is a keyword. Count vowel, use this function name. And you can see all these functions are user defined functions. Here, string str to lower, here we are using the str to lower and dollar a. See, these are the user defined functions found here. But uh, we are using the some predefined function that is str to lower or the string function inside this function. This function are in what is a user defined, but this string is a predefined function. So the string equals to str to lower so convert dollar a into the lower case dollar o well o well equals to array where is the array is the part dollar length equals to str len of reverse cat length reverse cat uh, array now the dollar string and the calculate the length str len will use the length in number okay so dollar num equals to zero for i equals to for whether i equals to zero i less than uh, lin i plus plus and here in array here we are comparing the string of i we are comparing this vowel inside this vowel array we are comparing the character of your given string enter string with this character uh, this vowel array so if uh, it matches our number then we implement the number and print the number of vowels in that string. Then after that, reverse. See, for the reverse, they have given you need to use the predefined function. So function reverse dollar a. So first to reverse that string, store it into the D and display this reverse string on the next line. Then function length. Here we are calculating the length of the string. So we need to calculate the length of the string till we were uh, your pointer is reaches to the no means if uh, you need to calculate from the starting to the end means the single slash zero that is null character is after so we are searching and we are counting the length okay so take the first your variable here then print your variable not equals to null increment this see here semicolon is given and then decrement the one value and display the uh, total length of your given string now, how to execute this program? You need to save all this HTML and the PHP file inside the your PHP folder. Okay, inside the here, here I have created the one folder inside the XAMPP here and in the window. So inside the XAMPP 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.